All right, here we are. At Act three, folks. At Act motherfucking three. Okay. Well, I could play this game like they want you to, or I could play this game the way you should play a walkthrough. See, there's a motherfucking can over here. Oh, we need it. Let's go ahead and grab the damn can. Ooh, it's so exciting. So exciting we have this can, folks. Because you know what we're going to do with this can? We're going to walk over here. And oh shit, it was right behind the damn church. Why didn't we think to look there? Either way, with this can, we're going to pick up some rotten, disgusting fish. And I'm going to tell you why as soon as he does it. Got to crawl in there first. Okay, I'll use the can to avoid touching those disgusting fish with my hands. Those fish must have just died. Right, so we take nasty-ass fish, and we put it back here on the trash cans. Because we got to distract these guards. Because they assholes. And Fatty don't like cats because he a prick. Who the fuck doesn't like cats? Fucking assholes. Oh, look, they're so adorable. There you are, you mangy beasts. So you dared to come out, did you? Now I've got you. Fucking dick. Oh, he dumbass, and he just ran to the damn cans. Pretty Four obviously there. Cats. Soon or later, I'll get each and every last one of you. I promise you. Don't get mad. Your technique's improving. Hey, you shit almost got you. one this time. Shut up. Mm mm mm. Fatty's an asshole. Either way, now that they're gone, we can access the electrical panel. And why do we need to access the electrical panel? Because we need to go upstairs. So, let's do some puzzle solving. Basically, you see that little white shit glow in there? When you make all the now I get it. lights do it. This is the system that controls the amount of current that reaches each of the street lights. Yep. And then, BAM! Take that, lights. Fuck you. What sure, it's very hard to replace them. Why does nothing work right in this filthy city? Looks like a voltage surge. Suppose you think the cats are to blame. Shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. I'm not letting those flea-bitten beasts out of my sight. No chance, mate. Yeah, what an ass. Either way, go in here. Holy shit, we in a bookstore. And believe it or not, there's really not much we need here other than these boards. Yeah, boards. And then we gotta go through that blocked door. We use the crowbar. Crowbar is great. Puzzle solving thing right here. The sign here. says, emergency exit. Beechwood Oracle Bookstore. Do not block. Well, it seems that in spite of the warning, this door is indeed blocked. And now, you're no full of puns. The slightest doubt as to the name of the establishment. Doesn't look like it's going to be complicated to open this door with a crowbar. Done. Yeah, we still got the crowbar. So yeah, now we can like freely walk up here because otherwise these assholes would see us and shoot at us because they dicks. And here we are up top hey, with a cutscene. I I've seen this place before. I've been here. I recognize this rooftop. Those trees. The park. The statue. Tomorrow comes today. Of course. The photo from the poster. It was shot from someplace in this very building. But, but what's the meaning of all this? And could it be that the voice wasn't actually trying to lead me to that burned out bookstore down there? But rather to this building? To this place? Damn. We, we figuring shit out. Alright. We gotta take a look at the metal plaque. There's the a plaque. metal plaque on the wall next to the door. Michael Argent. Photographer. <gasps> I can't believe it. This is the apartment of a man named Michael, an apartment located above the Beechwood Oracle bookstore. And in the building where the photograph on the poster was taken. Can all this really be a coincidence? It's hard to believe, but is it possible that the voice in my head has been guiding me to my own front door? Damn crazy voodoo bullshit. All right, let's grab his handwritten There's nope. a piece of paper stuck to the door, and it looks like it has a handwritten message on it. Let's see what it says here. Hi, Mike. 
What you been doing? We're trying to get in touch with you. We just don't get worried. Chris needs to see you. Come see us at the newspaper's office where we're living now. Sarah. She had very nice handwriting. Almost looks like a font. Hey, wait, we don't got anything else to really do in here. We jet out. Do, 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 do. Let's go home. Isn't it time for you to go back to your nest, rat? Whoa. Michael gonna be mouthy. He just has that problem. You bastard is starting to get on my nerves. Yes, I do have to be going. By the way, how did the chase go? Were those cats too quick for you? You'd better go. It's not in your best interest to get my partner any more agitated. Not tonight. You shut your mouth, you rat, or I'll shut it for you! Uh -oh. I won't warn you again! Those beasts are possessed! And I'm going to exterminate them, one by one! You can tell you the villain, they won't kill cats. I'm sure I know he's a villain. Pride of the force. Just one more thing. Try to stay away from the trash cans next time. I've warned you, you filthy rat! You've worn out my patience! Uh -oh. This will teach you to treat me with a little more respect! I'm going to wipe that stupid grin off your face! I'm not Ouch. surprised this, this hasn't happened This is the only language you shitheads from the refugee camp the understand! Mic. So, you're going to treat me with respect now, aren't you? Come on, leave him alone. You'll kill him. He is a mole after all, and it's in our interest to keep him alive. Come on, let's get out of here. Well, you're safe for now, but I have a very good memory for faces. Another hmm. day, I'll finish what we started, rat. I swear it. You an asshole, fatty. You know it. You know nobody likes you. Ugh. Ugh. All right, flashlight, let's grab it. And also, let's look at the blood stains. These stains mark the spot where that bloated psychopath knocked me down with his flashlight. It, now I can see it. kept made agitating him, man. World. Wait a minute. And all that blood, there, there's something white. Uh -oh. It's a fragment of one of my teeth. Well, well, all right. We got now some teeth and a flashlight. I guess, you know, it pays to be beaten by the authorities. I mean, who knew being beaten by the cops would be so profitable? Either way, use a bucket with some water. Okay, I'll use the bucket for what it was designed for. To be filled with water. Before I go down, I know, Mike. I'll leave the heavy stuff here. In case the rope doesn't support my weight. But a bucket of water would be fine. And by heavy stuff, he means, like, the crowbar. At this point. Yeah, hey, I've got a bucket of water. Beautiful. Alright, we can just leave. Stuff pops back into our inventory. A bag, some nails, a crowbar. Really, th the weight of the nails, that's what's going to break that damn rope. Okay, water on bonfire. Pretty straight Here goes. forward. Maybe we can still salvage something from the fire. We certainly can. Now that I mean, the fire is out, I don't intend to carry this rusty bucket around anymore. I'll get rid of it. Yeah, no, no reason to keep a bucket. No reason. But apparently this doll is like fucking flame retardant or something, considering that fire been going on for a while, and that doll's not terribly damaged. I mean, it's a bit fucked up, but, I mean, it still looks okay. All right, now what do we do, folks? We go back to where Rose is having a bad time all the time, and now we make her her crib. Mm-hmm. So... We used the wood, the nails, and we got this going on. And now we can use the sign. To... I'll use the electrical tape to join these two objects. The bad news is that I just used up all the electrical tape. Oh, I'm hot, brother. So now we give her the doll. And then we give her the crib. Hmm. I'm not proud of what I'm about to do. But I need to find out that secret Rose is keeping from me. And if she wants her baby... I'll give her back her baby. I brought you your baby, Rose. He says it really creepy. I brought you your baby. Did you bring me my baby? Did you bring him? Thank you so much, Mr. Sleepyhead. You kept your word. You brought me my baby. Now I need you to bring me a crib. Like the one in the picture, Mr. Sleepyhead. And then I'll tell you the secret. 
The key that opens your chest of dreams. I bet you know what the chest of dreams is. I bet you know already, folks. Come on. This game's signposting. So, so well. I'm going to use the candle. Not the candle. The cradle on her now. Man, that shirt Thank just you. gets more and more covered now in blood. Now I can rock my baby to sleep and sing to him. Now I need you to tell me that secret you promised to reveal if I brought what you asked. Yes, our secret. I have something that belongs to you, Mr. Sleepyhead. Ooh, you do. It's the key that opens your chest of dreams. It's a little key. And now, key. it's yours again. But it's a real key. Yeah. But where did you get it? I found it in your jacket after Rod and his wife gave me your clothes. Wow. When I got to my room, the key fell on the floor and made a clinking sound. I had just seen you sleeping in their trailer, like a big bear. And then I figured it out. It was the key to the chest where you were keeping your dreams. Because you like to dream, don't you? Of course you do. That's why your name is Mr. Sleepyhead. The key that opens my chest of dreams. Thank you very much for your help, Rose. Take good care of your son. I should be going now. No, please. Don't go. Don't leave me here. Now that I've found my baby, I have to get away from here. Far away. I have to get away from the haunted castle. Mm -hmm. If you leave, more men will come and hurt me, and they'll lock me up in the dark again. And I can't stand the dark. That's when those soldiers come back and take me with them. And now they'll want to hurt my baby, too. The hunter was clear. I mustn't get mixed up in his affairs. Yep. Or there'll be hell to pay. I'm sorry, Rose. I can't do anything. Mr. Sleepyhead, I can't stand it anymore. Don't let them touch me again. Please help me. You have to get me out of here. Like the knight in the stories. You're my knight. And I'm your princess. Mm -hmm. oh, good God. This is unbearable. Victims Man. and executioners. That sums things up. Heavy what shit, folks. I? What was my role before the great wave? Damn it. I can't just leave that poor girl to her fate. I have to do something to save her. Even we if will. I don't know what that is yet. I'll help you, Rose. I'll help you get out of here. Thank you, Mr. Sleepyhead. Do you promise? Will you be my knight in shining armor? Yes. Oh. Oh, we're gonna save her. But we can't do it right now. Because now, we got a key. Now, where the fuck do you think the key goes? If you guess it goes to the apartment that we just discovered, you're absolutely right. It looks like someone tried to get in here. Damn, it's all scratched up and shit. Let's see if my intuition is correct. Yes, the key that opens my chest of dreams is a key that, in fact, belongs to Michael Argent, photographer. The key That's to my own apartment. Yay! We'll be inside now. There's a few things we can grab. Like, oh, hey, this important instant camera. That cool. And there's also a music box we can touch. Right. Now that we got the camera, all we need to do now is figure out where else we need to go. Remember this fucking note? note? I found in the door to the apartment. Hmm. Who could Sarah be? Well, it's TNT. I wonder if they're talking about the old cable network. Or they're talking about something we keep on file over here. All the newspapers we work for. Apparently, old Mike liked to keep his shit straight. So, let's see. The New Truth. That's the name of this newspaper. Now I understand. This file cabinet holds copies of newspapers and magazines my photos appeared in. It seems like as a photographer, I was very fond of my own work. Well, who wouldn't be? As you can see, TNT is what we need. TNT stands for the new truth. The masthead of this newspaper matches the letterhead on the handwritten note. Boom. And it's obviously not a coincidence. It seems like a good idea. But the GPS... Alright. Let's get outside now, folks. Now we know where to go. We need to go to the new truth. <gasps> it can't be. It's me. This photo. I remember it. I remember this photograph. Please, Michael, help us. Only you can do it. And this woman is... She's Emily. She's my wife. Now I remember her. The person who's been communicating with me all this time. Emily. I love you, Michael. Uh, and I now pronounce you... Don't ever leave me. I can see why those two got together. I have Neither something to tell you, Michael. Are you... 
Are you really? Oh, yes! These things are not going well between us, Michaels. You know oh, that. It's only a rough patch. You'll see. It's all your fault! You have to get on top of this, Michael. It's destroying both of us. I'm afraid of you. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Everything will be different. Remember that vacation we took to the beach? And we were getting to know each other? Everything will go back to the way it was. Promise me. I promise. Sound like they're an abusive relationship. Oh, Emily. They, what does all this mean? Mike is abusive. Where are you? How oh, can I find you? Damn, what are these messages you keep repeating in my head? I've lost my mind. I've lost my mind. That, that's the only logical explanation for this. Oh, Emily. My poor Emily. Where are you? How can I find you? Mmm. Heavy shit, folks. Heavy shit. Mike apparently was not a good person. Apparently hit the sauce too much. May have done some bad things to his wife. I mean, that broken bottle is probably symbolic of something. Either way. Of course. The letters, I'll enter the The map indicates a place near the main avenue of the city. Will it still be standing? Let's go find out. Well, right, we're going to the paper. My inventory's... Hey, wow, chapter four already. Oh, the new truth. That's a short chapter, chapter three. 